doing something from your heart, you know, when we start to actually express something from our hearts, we must truly understand something. And everyone's unique. But to truly do something from your heart, you, we must understand that we step outside of the materialistic world. That when we truly start to do something from our hearts, we step outside of the materialistic world and the, the world that we're perceiving, the world that we are comprehending in everyday matter, and we actually just start to express something. And it's this expression which will always forever 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 act as the ropes from which we're walking across if you can imagine that we're living in this reality and if we're essentially doing something from our hearts we are walking from one side along a rope Two ropes, however you want. You can have a million ropes all strapped together to create one nice bridge. Walking across from this reality into the next reality. And that reality is essentially love. Because what we're doing is we're connecting the love of which we're receiving. And that's it. We're essentially connecting the love of which we're receiving. And what we're doing is we're actually connecting here. The ropes are essentially resembling a connection. And the connection is essentially helping us manifest or helping us guide towards its existence. Now, what we start to understand is one thing. <laughs> when we take this guidance or this this love or this truth and we start to think that we can use this guidance truth wisdom love whatever we want to call it to, that's helping us in order to promote a, the perception of a better life we will burn those ropes now what I'm referring to here is when we think that we can take this love or take this guidance or take this truth or take this wisdom, whatever we want to call it, and use it to create the image of a better existence, we will burn those ropes. And how we do this is that we take something which is pure and we try and use that pureness to try and create the image of a better life. And that better life is essentially trying to prove ourselves that, that we need something that, that may not be true to us. If we look at this reality, we look around us, everyone's competing with one another. We want to show people that we have something. We want to show people that we are something. And what we do is we take something that's given to us, something special, maybe something deep, our connection to this, this existence or this love. And we try and use that to get something, to prove something. And that get or prove could be anything materialistic. It could be trying to use our connection to essentially better our lives. What we'll find we do is that we destroy that connection. And how we do it is that this essence of, of awareness is essentially here to teach us that we, we, all we need to do is connect. And most importantly, through connecting, we must comprehend that we must not want anything back. That we must show essentially this connection the respect it, it deserves which is we can receive this this connection or wisdom and we must honor it for only that we must sh share essentially share this wisdom and truly show that that we must not want anything or must not use this wisdom in order to achieve anything within this this reality and that's how we never let this connection go.